In this second part of the video, we're going to look at how to differentiate hard expressions involving exponential functions. Our first example is y is equal to 2 times e to the negative x plus x plus 1. To differentiate this, we just differentiate it term by term. So to get dy on dx, we start by differentiating the first term, 2 times e to the negative x, we're just going to get 2 e to the negative x and multiply by the derivative of negative x, which is negative 1, and that will become minus 2 times e to the negative x. We then differentiate the next term, plus x, which will give us plus 1, and then we differentiate the constant, plus 1, which becomes a 0, and so this is our final expression for dy on dx. Our second expression is y is equal to e to the 5x minus 2 over x squared plus 3x. First, I'm going to rewrite as e to the 5x minus 2x to the negative 2 plus 3x. Again, we differentiate it term by term, starting off with e to the 5x. This will become e to the 5x times 5 or 5 times e to the 5x. Next, we differentiate the second term, this time using the power rule. The minus 2 gets multiplied to negative 2, and that's going to give us a plus 4. Then the power of negative 2 gets reduced by 1, so that's going to become x to the minus 3. And we can also rewrite this as 4 over x cubed using the negative index law. Then we differentiate the last term plus 3x, which is just going to give us plus 3 and therefore, this is our final expression for dy on dx. Our next example involves the use of the product rule. We know that the derivative of two functions multiplied together uv is equal to u dash v plus v dash u. So let's look at our first example. y is equal to x squared times e to the negative 2x. I'm going to let u equal to x squared so that u dash is equal to 2x. And let v equal to e to the negative 2x, so that v dash is equal to minus 2 times e to the negative 2x. Then to get dy on dx, we're going to apply the product rule u dash v plus v dash u, and this is just direct substitution. u dash is equal to 2x, and v is equal to e to the negative 2x. v dash is equal to minus 2 e to the negative 2x and u is equal to x squared. So simplifying this, we're going to get 2x e to the negative 2x minus 2x squared e to the negative 2x. And this is our final expression for dy on dx. Another example, we have got y is equal to 3x to the 4 times e to the x cubed. This time, we're going to let u equal to 3x to the 4, so that u dash is equal to 12x cubed. We're going to let v equal to ex cubed, so that v dash is equal to 3x squared times e to the x cubed. Then again, applying the product rule, dy on dx is equal to u dash v plus v dash u, and this is direct substitution. So u dash is 12x cubed, v is e to the x cubed, v dash is 3x squared times e x cubed, and u is 3x to the 4. And we're going to simplify this. That's going to give us 12x cubed times e x cubed plus 9x to the 6 e x cubed. And this is our final expression for dy on the x. Our next example involves the use of the quotient rule. The quotient rule states that the derivative of function, which can be expressed in the form of u divided by v, is given by u dash v minus v dash u all over v squared. So for our example, we've got y is equal to 2 times e to the negative x all divided by x squared. We're going to let u equal to 2 e to the negative x so that u dash is equal to minus 2 times e to the negative x. Then v is equal to x squared, so v dash is equal to 2x. Then to get dy on dx, we simply apply the quotient rule, u dash v minus v dash u over v squared, which is going to be minus 2e to the negative x times x squared minus 2x times 2e to the negative x, and all of this over x squared. 
squared. And we're going to tidy this up. We're going to get minus 2x squared e to the negative x minus 4x e to the negative x all over x to the 4. And we can factorize out the numerator to get minus 2x e to the negative x times in bracket x plus 2 and all of this over x to the 4. Then we see that the x terms can cancel out leaving x cubed only on the denominator. So this simplifies to minus 2 e to the negative x times x plus 2 or divided by x cubed. And our last example involves the use of the chain rule. The chain rule states that dy on dx is equal to dy on du times du on dx. So with our example, y is equal to e to the x squared minus 2x to the 4, I'm going to start off by applying the index law to simplify the expression. So with the index law, we can rewrite this expression as e to the 4x squared minus 8x. Then we're going to let u equal to 4x squared minus 8x so that du on dx is equal to 8x minus 8. With this definition of u, y can be written as e to the u so that dy on du is simply just eu. Then applying the chain rule, dy on dx, which is dy on du times du on dx, this is going to become e to the u times 8x minus 8. And because u is defined to be 4x squared minus 8x, I'm going to replace the u with this expression. So get 4x squared minus 8x. And I'm also going to factorize up the 8 in the bracket. So times 8x minus 1. So the final expression is 8 times x minus 1 e to the power 4x squared minus 8x. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. We release videos weekly across various maths topics. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.